So this is what Beeman G is like in 2017. Crashing into pianos. Yes, it does break. Yeah. <laughs>Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more Beam and G Drive and welcome to version 0.10. Yes, the game has been updated and they've been working on a lot of stuff. I have a lot of cool stuff to show you. But yeah, they were specifically trying to work on the audio with this update. So we have a whole new mess of new engine sounds and just various different sound effects. A lot of cool stuff going on. So I'm going to show you guys that first. So we have a regular D series here. And uh, you're not, you're not going to hear me talking a lot during this first part just because this is really really amazing and they've done a really great job so I'm excited to show you so we have a regular D series and we're just gonna start it up and drive for a second so you guys can hear this absolute sound porn okay here we go so as you can hear the engine sounds are just way 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 more realistic sounding it sounds like it actually has like bass to the engine it has a no it has an engine note i guess you could say and they also added interior sound so it does sound different when you are driving on the inside and even when you crash on the inside it sounds like you're on the inside it's amazing i love it okay so of course we need to get something fast so i am thinking whoops I am thinking that we should go with the SBR4. Where the hell is it? I did disable all the mods just so I don't have anything screwing with me here. So let's go with the Hill Climb Edition, the most insane version, just because, oh, this is my favorite sound in the game by far. So, just so you guys can hear it from the start, here we go. <laughs> Would you listen? to that that is just straight up evil sounding isn't it? it's amazing and another another side note here they added so when you are going very very fast the field of view kind of reaches out so it gives you a better sense of speed it's really a nice touch it's something very subtle but it's a nice touch whoa uh oh whoa uh oh oh my god <laughs> Oh, they have made uh, various tweaks to the uh, physics as well, so it doesn't stutter as much when you get in a really, really high-speed collision because you would usually lose a few frames when you get in a collision of that caliber, but no, not anymore. It's, it's, it's pretty goddamn amazing, but yeah, about this sound, I am absolutely in love with the note of this engine right here, and I'm going to actually drive all the way down to the uh, to the tunnels here because they also added tunnel sound effects so you will hear a reverb of our very 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 powerful engine as we drive through this now I did notice it is pretty subtle but you can hear it take a listen So yeah, you can actually hear it reverbing. I would, if I if I could make any decisions, I would want it to be a little bit more intense just because I love the sounds of cars in giant tunnels like that. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it wouldn't be as realistic, but that's my preference, but you know, they're, they're the devs, they know what's best. But anyway, so let's actually listen to a few other cars just so we can kind of get an idea of all the different sounds they add. So let's go with something a little bit more ricey. So I'm thinking the 200BX. <laughs> It's a good choice. So it should sound a little bit more tinny. So here we go and... Yep, definitely has that uh, that uh, Eastern sound to it as you can tell and I love the inside view too. It makes it a little bit more cozy, you know what I mean? When you're just cruising, listening to this. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Whoa, okay, so let's try something else here. We have, I, I haven't tried all of these yet. I just, 
am kind of curious. How about the, uh, how about a muscle car? So let's get something really, really quick. So we have the bar still, but where is the moon hawk? I can never find it. I don't know. There it is. So let's try, I don't know, the drag edition. This thing should sound pretty mean, huh? So let's actually, oh man, let's get this into position over here. I want to do like a quarter mile. Okay, put it right there. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Does that sound mean or does it sound mean? Holy hell, okay, we are, oh God, stuff is breaking. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh! <laughs> Yes! There we go. That is absolutely amazing. I don't know, it just it just adds a lot of immersion. It makes it it makes it feel like your car is way more powerful when the sound of the engine actually matches the power coming out of your car. It's amazing. We also have a few new vehicles added to the game as well. This is an old gen Pessima race or track edition. So I imagine it's just uh, very good at going around tracks. I'm not really on a track, but we are on a road. And this thing is pretty fast. How does it sound, though? God, I just, I am in love with these sound effects, man. You know, we've been dealing with some pretty trash car sound effects for, you know, a car simulator game. But I'm, I feel like the sounds are finally starting to catch up with all the other amazing technology in this game. So, yeah, this is, this is awesome. And this thing is going quick. And we are going straight into the tunnels. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, 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 oh no, I lost it already! <laughs> Shit! It's okay, it's okay. This game just feels a lot more stable than it did before. It feels like I, I there was always the worry of the game just randomly crashing uh, when you, when you, things got too heated, but it's kind of slowly going away. We also have the new, uh, the new radial menu here with all, all the stuff that was there before, but it just looks a lot cleaner. We have the, the fun stuff menu, which is of course my, my favorite, so let's just go ahead and break everything. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's such a useless feature, but it's so awesome at the same time, you know? We also have some new parts for the hopper here, so if we go over to the vehicle configurator, we should be able to add a windshield bar light somewhere around here. And I'm not really sure where you add it, but I'm gonna find out. There we go, look at that! How do- oh wow, that's bright! Okay, I wanna see how bright this is, so let's go ahead and turn it to uh, nighttime here and see how effective those are. Holy hell, okay, let there be light! Damn, that is really lighting up the desert landscape. So yeah, that's another cool addition to the hopper, which is, I think, criminally underrated and one of my favorite vehicles in the entire game. Now it's just a beacon of light, that is, until we crash into a pole. Oh, they still work, so I guess they're durable as well. We also have a couple new ways of actually carrying cars around. Now, this one is called the loading ramp, and it's a giant semi, as you can see, if you need to carry a couple cars. So, if we go ahead and push O, oh, look at that. It just comes down very, very smoothly with a ramp for our car. So, let's go ahead and park it right in there, as smooth as butter. You can actually fit a few cars in here if you wanted, or... Another random, I don't even know if you could call it a vehicle that was added, but it was added anyway. We have a upright, <laughs> upright piano. So, not really sure what the hell this is about, but you know what? I'm kind of curious if it breaks. So, let's go ahead and get another car over here, and I just want to run into this thing just to see <laughs> if we can crash this piano. So, let's just cause, I don't know, spot up a custom a custom hopper here, and uh, here we go! So this is what Beeman G is like in 2017, crashing into pianos! Yes, it does break! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! That's so cool! That is so cool! Oh my god, I gotta see that in slow motion. I gotta see that in slow motion. That was out. Does it make any noise? I, I couldn't, I wasn't listening, okay. Try that again here. And here we go. I'm sorry, piano. No. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That is awesome. I don't know why you added that, devs, but I, I, I fucking love you guys. You are amazing.
You know, maybe this other carrier was made specifically to pick up this piano. I don't know what else it would be for, but anyway, this is the box utility trailer. There's actually a bigger variant as well. I'll show you that, guys. You guys that right now. So if we go down to here, there you have C2, the box utility, and the large box utility. Now, this one actually should be able to fit a car. So if we go ahead and lower this down, let's see if... Uh, I don't know if this one will fit like it's probably gonna be for mostly small cars, but it looks like Even this might actually fit on there. Oh, 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 oh Yes Yes, it does. Okay, so that actually can carry one full-size car. Well at least a you know a normal size car I guess like a smaller sports car, but yeah, it still carries the car nice and snug and I believe I, don't, I seriously don't know what else this would be for other than carrying pianos. Oh, yeah uh, some really cool things in the uh, in the department of wanting to carry vehicles. I'm a I'm a fan, and of course the piano is awesome. So let's just go ahead and drop it from large heights. Here we go. Yes, <laughs> that'd be good for uh, killing zombies. It actually does make a noise. It's awesome. I don't, I don't think you can actually play it though. Can you like? is so cool and I don't know why I just why is this in there <sighs> we're gonna have to blow this thing up in later episodes you can guarantee that but for now I want to show you another feature that was added uh, which I'm gonna demonstrate on the piano again and it actually adds the ability to um, connect nodes together we all know nodes it's uh, what lets you do this you just grab stuff and go and just screw up your car immensely but now we can actually take one of those nodes and instead of just connecting it to thin air You can actually connect it to another node without having any the need for any hitch or any stuff like that So we're actually gonna park this right here, and we're gonna take this piano. Oh shit. Oh God okay. You know what it doesn't matter. What's it? Let's just go ahead and respawn that and uh, So if we go over to here and grab just one of these nodes now let's actually take the strength down to like 50, maybe even lower than that. And we connect it, oh god, oh god, okay, let's put it back to zero for a second. And if we connect it there, there we go, so now, we can just drive and drag the poor defenseless- <laughs> Well, that didn't last long, did it? But we can just take the poor defenseless piano on a joyride until it just cracks and- Oh no, it's getting stuck under my stuff now, but you know- we don't have a titch on this, or a, a dit, a t what the hell am I trying to say? A hitch on this Jeep, so we can kind of improvise here and connect it directly to the tow hitch. There we go. So now, we don't even need one. We can just straight up, where is it? We can just straight up drive it like this. So yeah, I don't know why you'd want to do that because we're going to be dragging spikes on the ground the entire time. Or, uh, yeah, we're just going to be spiking into the ground, but it works. So I would say it's pretty damn effective and you can there's a ton of ideas you could do with that So if you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see with using the uh, the node grabber I would love to hear them because I just it's there's so much potential. It's just it's I don't know it, I just feel like there's a lot of video ideas in there We also have replays added directly to our menu here So if we do pull up the uh, AI menu for replays and save them We'll be able to watch them just right here, which is pretty damn awesome. It's good for people who make um BeamNG crash uh, comp compilations and stuff and cinematic stuff in BeamNG. That's what it's good for. I use it from time to time, so I will definitely get some use out of that. It just makes it a lot more handy, you know. Another really awesome feature that was added was the ability to make procedural tracks. Yes, you heard that right. You can make your own track, and it'll just be random every time, procedurally generated. All you have to do is go to try or time trials, click on procedural tracks. And uh, click random track. It has a few that you can try out, but if you click the one in the middle, random tracks, it'll actually create one on the fly. So let's go ahead and try this out. And what car do we want to drive? I kind of want to drive, I don't know, just something that we can slide very easy. So the null heart is perfect for this. So let's go ahead and click play, and it should make a map specifically for us. All right, so here we go. This is our custom map. And as you can see, it is a drifter's paradise, basically, because it's pretty much just filled to the brim with really tight quarters. But yeah, I don't know. It's not really like actual racetrack complete with like uh, foliage and bumps in the road, kind of like, you know, 
the, uh, the procedural generation maps in Dirt 4 were absolutely amazing, and I wonder if that's what they're trying to go for eventually. But this is still really, really po promising, and it's really endless hours of fun. I've, I could mess around with this for hours, just trying to oh, perfect your drift skills. If that's, if you want to get good at drifting in BeamNG, this is the perfect feature for you, basically. So let's see if we can get some good drifts up in here. I'm really not good at all at drifts. This car is ma is doing most of the work for me. Like this is just a very, very easy car to drift. But, uh, you know, it's still, it feels pretty damn good. I really, really, really am loving the direction that this game is going in. All right, so why don't you guys just sit back, relax, and listen to some of the amazing sounds for this game for just a minute, and I will be right back with you. <laughs> guys so that has been the 0.10 update honestly I could probably make a second video because there's a lot of stuff I had to leave out uh, if you guys are interested in a part two showing all the little fixes and little updates to the game let me know down below but for now that's gonna about do it make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next one see ya